Hey everybody, this is round four of Pandemic Reign of Cthulhu. Things are looking pretty dire here. Uh, we've had to sacrifice two cards because an Elder God came along and told us that we had to. So that's no good. We do have a relic in, our, in play right now, which says that there are no sanity rolls required. That's nice, I guess. I haven't actually been suffering that much sanity loss so far. Or any, actually. So I've got two Arkhams and two Innsmouths. And that's it. That's all I've got. And originally I had moved my investigators closer together because I thought that they needed to be close to trade cards back and forth. But now they don't have any cards in their hands, really. So I don't know how useful that is, to be honest. I guess I could trade a the Chaos Mirror to, to the Occultist. Because I feel like... No, actually it doesn't matter. Yeah, I don't... I, yeah. I don't think it matters right now. So I think really primarily, I mean, like, right now, I feel like this cluster of three cultists needs to be disbanded. And I've got a couple of different ways to do that. The occultist herself can force a cultist to move two locations as an action. So I think that's the first uh, turn that she'll do. Her first action, she's going to move a cultist there. Yeah, I think that's probably fine to just move the cultist there. So that's one action. So that's, that's broken up the party. That's good. If there are too many cultists in one spot, they start summoning elder gods. That's the danger. But that's been allayed now. Uh, so that's one action. For another action, she could just knock that cultist out uh, off the board. So that's two actions. For a third action, she could go down to this gate. Just because she's got all the Arkham cards in her... No, she doesn't. Okay, well, never mind then. That's a silly thing to do. I mean, it might not be a silly thing. She could move down there. And then if she draws some cards on the next turn... Yeah, that, that might... On the next turn, the hunter could take those cards from her. So that's not a bad idea. So that's uh, one action. That's three. Th that's her third action to move, and then I guess for her fourth action, oh no, okay. So she could move that Shogoth, but I don't know if that really matters that much. I feel like that Shogoth has lots of ways to go before he gets to that gate. I think instead, I think uh, for that fourth action, I think moving another cultist wouldn't be a bad idea. I'm going to move one of the cultists from the Great Hall just into the woods. Just go for a walk. Get lost. Uh, that feels pretty okay. Drawing two cards, Kingsport and Innsmouth. That could be good. She's, she's racking up those Innsmouth cards. That's not a bad thing. She's got three Innsmouth cards. And now it's on to the reporter's turn. Or not the reporter, the hunter. Okay, so the hunter is sitting pretty with three Ark... No, two Arkham cards. Yeah, she had to ditch one, I think. All right, well, that's not as great as I thought, actually. Um, yeah, I don't know if she, there's any advantage to having her hang out on that green gate until she collects enough Arkham cards. She may actually have to move to just clear out some of these cultists. So what if we had her, like, go... Well, actually, you know what? She can travel through this gate right now. She can, so you can travel through a gate. You're supposed to roll sanity to, to move through a gate. Is that even listed here? Use a gate. Move from one gate to another gate. So you're supposed to roll sanity, but we still have this relic card. So I kind of feel like I want to use that up. I mean, you know, take advantage of it. So I think I might have her, for one action, move to this gate... Two actions move both remove both cultists from that location because she can do that as a hunter. 
So that's her second action. And then I think as her third action, go to Innsmouth and remove... And then as her fourth action, remove Occultist. So that was a pretty good turn. I feel pretty good about that turn. I mean, she could have just done the same thing up here. But I feel like having her in Innsmouth, I don't know, could be nice. It's a nice place this time of year. All right, drawing up to her hand. Arkham and Dunwich. Okay, well, Dunwich is not very important, so this is bus fare. But Arkham, Arkham is good. That gets her a little bit more. What's she got now? Three Arkham cards? Yeah, three Arkham cards and some bus, uh, a bus fare. Now, she's going to have to use up these relics pretty soon because her hand, her hand size is starting to get out of control a little bit. You can swap one clue card from your hand with a clue card with another player's hand. That just doesn't seem that powerful as a relic, does it? Like, that just doesn't seem... Like, that's not... That's, that doesn't really excite me that much. She does have the silver key, though, which means that she can move from any location to another. Which maybe maybe moving her back, you know, to um, to Arkham with her three Arkham cards would be good, just in case this occultist draws two Arkham cards. I don't know. I, th I think that's fine for her turn. Okay. So then we're doing a summoning action. University and Historic Inn. Okay, so this Shogoth is going to move one, two spaces closer to the portal. Still not too worried about it. The Occultist can send him packing, so I'm not too concerned about this. University and Historic Inn are the places that two cultists pop up. So there's the University. Here's the Historic Inn. That's not too bad. And I believe that's the round. I think that's it. Yeah, that's everybody. Okay, cool. That's not a bad fourth round. Uh, I would still love to get more focus, more clarity on what gate we can seal next. I mean, it's it's definitely looking like it wants to be Arkham, but it could equally be Innsmouth. We just need more cards. Just need more clues. Uh, and that's it for now. Thanks for watching.